10.53 a.m. Look at my room. Look at Benny's stand. There's my mom micromanaging me and controlling my life. <laughs> and I want to look at all this junk. And then one of these I want to. Yes, I'm coming. Yes. What did he say? I'm gonna snap. <laughs> I'll be like, Stop telling me what to do! Oh, I gotta clean all of this stuff up. That's right, she says, my micromanaging me, coercive, controlling me. To do this. Oh, yeah, my mouth. Look at this. My hair, like, do I. I need to comb my hair, you know. I'm gonna go there and get some more stuff and come back here. Yeah. So it's 11.01 a.m. Oh shit, my lips. And my mom did all of this. Look at my room. It's 12.09 p.m. We did some cleaning. And we're gonna go back. Uh, we'll go back to the other place. <laughs> the other place. Oh, look at my skin. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, man, this thing is still like a discoloration from that electrolysis thing. I want to start doing proper skin care, you know, put oils on my skin after showering and take care of myself and do things like that. You know, I still haven't uh, taken out this, um, uh, you know, the earrings, like, <laughs> it's been like that for months, I have to take this out and clean them. How neglectful I am of myself. Oh, see, so anyway. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I better then take care of my skin. And I should be alright. Uh, I brought my weighing, weighing machine. V, weighing, weighing. I used to have a problem sometimes with that, like V and weigh. Like a vase, so um, yeah, I gotta go home, home and prepare my veggies too. Uh, anyway, gotta go home. Yeah, so I also found the battery, so I can start weighing myself again. So it's 4:14 p.m. Let me bring this thing here. Can I bring it here? You're going to be balanced. As you can see, there's that bluish hue coming from the uh, window. Uh, need to get some curtains with a yellowish tinge to it. So I'm uh, cooking. Not exactly a veggie stew, it's more like a something I'm gonna eat it with. Like it's got two potatoes, three tomatoes, um one small red onion, garlic and ginger. Oh and six mushrooms. So I'm gonna I put that all in and I'm making a stew out of it. And I'm gonna eat that with the wholemeal bread and uh Cause I was a bit lazy to make the veggies too so this is like a this is my junk food is <laughs> potato and uh, oh yeah I'm gonna put a can of beans like mixed beans like chick 
chickpeas and I don't know all these red kidney beans. It's, it comes in a can. But that is my face look bad. I don't know. I think I feel like um anyway, so so today I think it today is the last day for me because I took all, I think I took all of the stuff out of my room or I don't know my uh, well, I try to take as much as I can anyway, so. So, yes, I need to work on my diet. I have my weighing machine here. And I found some batteries for it, so I'll put that. Start weighing myself again. Uh, that should push me forward, too. I feel like my face is really fat. I don't know what the fuck. Or maybe, you know, I did have, a, you know, the bread today. And... I don't like this tint. It just so sucks. Uh, so you know my room is a mess, and I gotta slowly, you know, methodically, patiently go through each of these bags and boxes and sort them out. I'll do a, 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 a several runs of sorting and decluttering. So I, I want to first do some first do a light sorting and then do another round go and keep on doing it every day and over time i hope to get rid of things like some of my old makeup and stuff i, I want to i want to there's this recycle place nearby where they take used makeup so i want to take all the stuff i don't need and recycle it there and then also also like these used uh medicine bottles and things there's another place where you can recycle them. I want to recycle them properly. And, um, you know, there are all these books. Maybe I can donate some of the books I don't need. And you know, there's, there's, there's definitely a place where I can donate clothes. So basically, I, I don't want to waste any of the, like, I don't want to just throw things away. I want to just sort through them and then give it to recycling places. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I feel, I feel better doing that than just sit, taking it and dumping it. Uh, there might be even places where you can recycle electronics because I've got all these old computers and stuff. Like my mom, she basically threw out two computers, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Like one of them was like so good. It's it's a really good, like it's got the six cores and it's it's better than my old Windows computer. And, and I'm like, oh, "No, I gotta take it." And because I'm gonna, I think I need to re make my own Windows computer because you know, the old one I have like it. it stop working so I need to do all of these things and I've been procrastinating on <sighs> hello oh thank god it's recording um so anyway I don't like this angle why does it look like it's so really like on my face it's like <sighs> so yeah uh, so I gotta do it a little bit at a time Yes, I did send an email yesterday to the course person and told her I couldn't come because I think she's the coordinator. She's she wasn't the teacher. Uh, she said, "Oh, you're no problem. You know, the moving house is exhausting." Yeah. So um, I haven't heard from my employment consultant yet. I don't know what the hell's wrong. I think she might be ill or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's like I guess I better tell her. I didn't apply for one job. I think I applied for one job yesterday. I might apply for another job today. Uh, so for this month, <laughs> I might have only applied for two jobs. Or maybe I'll apply. We'll see how many jobs I apply for today. Because I find it that applying for jobs really stressful. Because if you, whenever I read through the uh, job applications, I, feel, I start getting depressed. <laughs> Because I, I feel like, oh my god, I'm not going to get this job. I feel like I'm, I don't have the qualifications or the work experience. or I just get so depressing. It's like, oh, it just brings reality. <laughs> reality hits my consciousness and I have to deal with the reality of being unemployed and finding it very difficult to get employment. So, so I got to... Uh, do this like coding thing and coding and coding, yeah. So, 
<sighs> so, yeah, my room is so messy. and So, you know, gradually did it one a little bit at a time. That's the thing, I need patience. Patience. I feel like, I feel like seeing Aladdin. What's that scene? Patience, Diago. Patience. Yeah, yeah I feel like that scene. <laughs> Jafar. Jafar. <laughs> Oh, too long. I'll sign off for now. I don't know if I, I mean, I feel like making these daily vlogs for the time being. I feel like it just gives me motivation to, all right. It also makes me feel like I'm holding myself accountable. Because if I, if I feel like if I don't make a video, I'll, I feel like I'll just sort of, uh, I'll just stop doing. <laughs> this is for holding myself accountable. Uh, I hold myself accountable to myself. I hold myself accountable to myself. And um, so you know, I get my. So you know, I guess now the thing is to just uh, sort through the stuff and uh, you know do the minimizing, decluttering, and all that thing. And uh, yeah, it's 4:22 p.m. Oh, oh, all right, okay then. Uh, 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 uh.